Puget Sound Goat Rescue is the last hope for goats. We rescue around 200 goats a year. I founded the rescue in 2002. I was a, a corporate sales rep for 24 years. Someone gave me two goats that were left tied to a post. And I didn't know anything about goats. And within a few months, I had over 60. Rosebud is one of the house favorites. She came in in October. We had a message come through on Facebook from a woman that was looking for help. When they pulled in with her in their car, she was unable to stand. Never seen a goat that thin still alive. We were way in the hole to try and save her. But we did save her. What we couldn't save was her leg. Dr. Pete did the amputation surgery, and he actually took her home to his house for the weekend. I met Dr. Pete when I first started rescuing. We've got okay. Rosebud, her new part. I learned so much from him. On three legs, she was all hunched. Yep. And I was hoping the cart would keep her body flat. Do you want me just to hold this while you sure. put her on? Pete is going to help us decide if this is the best thing for her right now, but. Oh, I can tell you it is. Wait, you know. she's not in there. There we go. You can see how much faster she's going to be able to move. That's pretty cool. She's doing a lot better in it than I thought. Look at her go. Walk, she's going to be running. Oh, look at her go. It gave him that, that personality back. She got to be the goat she's supposed to be. Since we've had her, she has never been able to run. Yeah, come on. So this is probably the fastest she's moved in a, since October. <laughs> Putting her in that car and watching her rush down the roadway, that's priceless. Some are braver than others. Some are, you know, smarter than others. You know, some are more mischievous than others. There are some that we don't think will make it through the night. And then to see them recover, and we did that. And that's amazing. We're going to go give him his first bottle. This is Tate. He's just a day old. We just rescued him from a dairy. He's a little baby boy. So they don't have any use for the baby boys. So he's come to live with us. I got a text at 10 o'clock at night. One of our volunteers got on the road, made about a seven hour drive to get him home. It's tough to go to the slaughterhouse. When they come out of there, they're not too good. They're being outside for the first time, being on grass for the first time, and getting to just experience toys and things to play on. Those are all first. Tucker and Ziggy. And you have the baby over. Well, they come here and they're in shock, and they don't do what you typically expect little baby goats to do, jump and play and, and have fun. But they see that happening. I know. They get care, and it's amazing how their spirit just comes out in there, and then they thrive. Their personality starts to evolve and come out once they start feeling better. This is Moxie. This is Hope's baby. She was born there. Hello. Everybody, yeah, everybody jumps in, so hello. I got the call to go pick up Hope's babies to the slaughterhouse. So when I went and got the babies, we always ask about the mother, and he said they still had her, but she wasn't going to make it. So I, I took her, thinking that we would be digging a hole when we got home. I was heartbreaking, the condition she was in. She couldn't move. She was terrified. Um, I crawled in the back of the truck with her. She was so defeated. Once she started to eat, I thought, we've got a chance. We named her Hope. To see her over the next couple days start to eat and start to drink water and start to be comfortable and know that we were OK and we were there to help her. To see her now, it's unbelievable. Hope is doing great. We have to be gentle with her. She looks good. And Moxie's tough. The goats that actually do well, that come back from being sick or having such bad times, there still is something in them. You know, I think they haven't quite given up. And all they needed is a little bit of care to have that woken up. I mean, I mean, what can you not love about him? Sorry to interrupt. She's just eating your mic. Oh! <laughs> oh, sorry.
You got the phone next to him? Oops, want to talk to your dad? We're looking forward to seeing you. Tell us your dad. When he was at therapy and he slid down that ramp, <laughs> that was it. That's when I made the decision to put in the app. Why not give a dog an opportunity to have the best life possible when they really deserve it? Come on, Hi. Oh, my God. 